I had taken a leave of absence to do the recording. When I finished the first Boston album, I went back to Polaroid. I had no expectations of success whatsoever. I, I actually expected total failure. I was praying that a local radio station would pick it up and play it. That's what I was hoping. The first show was at a high school. We were opening for a local band. There were 200 kids. Not one person applauded or even made a noise. The second one was 1500 seat club, which was big to me. It was a week after More Than a Feeling was released. The audience made so much noise, I couldn't even hear my own guitar. They wouldn't let us leave. We had to come back and play an encore. Didn't have an encore, so we played more than a feeling again. The third show was at an outdoor festival. It started a riot. There were so many people shot, they broke the fence down. The promoter was arrested. I mean, it was, it was great. <laughs> I was shocked when it started zooming up the billboard charts and getting top airplay at all these stations around the country and the world. The album stopped at number three on the album charts, but it stayed there forever. Eight months later, I think it had already sold six or seven million um, albums and was still selling like crazy. It uh, outsold every other debut album. It was kind of mind-boggling. The first time I heard more than a feeling on the radio was when somebody at Polaroid from the drafting department came running into my office and said, more than a feeling's on the radio in the drafting department. I dropped everything and I went running out back and I only caught the end fade out. And that kept happening. I don't think I actually caught more than a feeling on the radio for the first three weeks that it was out. People would call me up, oh, I just heard more than a feeling. Damn, I never get to hear that. We were called upon to be the opening act for a major tour. So I took another leave of absence, at which point, of course, my boss is saying, uh, don't you think you ought to quit? I thought, I better just take a leave of absence. I think I might be coming back here. I didn't really trust it. I thought, well, people seem to like it, but I'm not sure it's that great. We were then called upon to be the headline act at a major tour, and that's when I left Polaroid. A few years earlier, the boss in my department came in um, to talk to me. Uh, he said, look, I heard you're like making music. Are you thinking of leaving to play music? And I said, Ed, that's a one in a million shot. That never happens. And he said, okay, I just wanted to make sure. Then about three years later, I remember seeing him as I'm carrying my box of stuff and the elevator doors are closing and I'm leaving Polaroid. And I remember him running in front of the thing and grabbing the doors and says, one in a million? <laughs> well, somebody's gotta be the one. <laughs>